Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you the 1-3-1 zone defense. Hello basketball coaches, so yes this is a quick few second advertisement basically. I just want to let you guys know that I have another channel called Football Coach Alan, I go over football plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan, if you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you the 1-3-1 zone defense. Why it's so good, and the fact that I'm, I have no idea why I've never actually shown this defense on this channel before. I went over all my 1600 videos. Out of 1600 videos, I've never done the 1 3 1 zone defense. So here it is. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this defense. Okay, so here we have. Yes, I know I was drawing in the lines because, well, I just did. But, anyways, so here we have the 1 3 1 zone defense. Now, this is a zone defense, but it still works a bit differently than the conventional 2 3 or 3 2. So let me get down to it. First of all, as you can see, the low corners are pretty weak when it comes to defending. You can have some quick jump or skip passes over to those corners for three-point shots if the defense doesn't rotate fast enough. There goes all those black lines. Anyways, <laughs> so basically what, how I like to teach a defense myself to my players is to have... Uh, just a five out offense just to get the ball passing around to the different areas of the perimeter and then I'll start showing what happens in the low and high posts. So first of all when the ball gets swung over to this side or the other side it doesn't matter player three is going to be covering player one is going to be playing what I like to call the passing lanes and then we're going to have player 4 moving down, player 5 moving across, and then we're going to have player 2 moving in towards the key. So now player 4 is watching player 5. So basically how I like to run the 1-3-1. One, one. Player 4 who's up here, he is guarding essentially this area. Another, t uh, Some other coaches, they will also have player 5 guarding the whole low block. Generally, I don't do that. The reason behind that, player 5 is usually the biggest and slowest player. So to cover that much ground is extremely hard for him. So how I like to have it is player 4 guarding kind of a V shape. So he's going to be coming out. 5 is coming down. Player 2, because he is on the weak side, he needs to watch out for the alley-oop from coming from the baseline. And he needs to watch out for the skip pass over to player 4. So he needs to be keeping his eye on player 2, as well as having his head on a swivel, looking in both directions, looking at who's cutting across the key and who's cutting baseline. Player 1 will be dropping down to protect the, the free throw line for high-low passes as well. So this is how the defense will look now with the ball in this corner at the free throw line extended roughly. Now if the ball does go down there, we're going to have player 4 guarding on player 5. Player 3 is going to be guarding the passing lane. Player 4 is going to move down. Player 5 is still going to be guarding that post. And player 2 is going to be guarding this side of the key for any baseline drives or just any cross-court passes at all. He needs to get those picked off to go in for an easy layup on the other end of the court. Now, let's say the ball gets swung back up top. We're going to have our players back to this way. Now, let's say the ball goes down into the low post. Now, what's going to happen is player 5 is going to move down and guard player 5. Player 4 is going to do the exact same. Player 5 is going to move to the free throw line and player 2 is going to move down to the low block. This way there's no ability to cut any kind of like a high low pass. This is the type of defense that will destroy the high low pass offenses like the overload. This defense is very good against an overload offense. If the ball is in the high post, player 1 even let's say player four is up top for example player one player four is going to be on player one player one is going to be guarding both player four and player one and now we're going to have player two still protecting this side of the court player five is going to be guarding player five player three 
and player one, these two players, they are going to be guarding both their man, well, the guy who's in their zone, as well as the guy at the high post. Basically, if player one puts down that ball on the ground, it's going to be a, an instant triple team, and you're going to smother him. As soon as he puts that ball on the court to dribble, you're going to have three players around him. Now, this may leave some open some open three-point shots out here for players two and four if player one can get the ball back out to them. But that's not a far, very far distance for player one to recover or player three to recover over to player two. So that's why I like to run that. Now let's say player four moved over there and you had a smothering defense right there. I'm not too worried about a player four or really anybody taking a three-point shot. Uh, unless they're like consistent three-point shooters like a guy called Brady Heslip or, uh, in, as we all know, Kyle Korver in the NBA. Other than that, I'm not too worried about players shooting a three-point shot. So that's why I'm not too worried about that, and that's why I like to really smother the high posts in the 1-3-1 one, one zone defense. Now, if the ball was in, the, it was in a stack offense... Let's say we had a stack going on this side. We're going to have player 3 move up, and we've got, a, we've got an overload offense on the side. Player 5 is going to be guarding 5, 4 is going to go down, and he's going to be protecting still player 4, but he is going to be double teaming player 5 in the post. Player 3 is going to be going out to guard player 2, 1 is going to be guarding player 1, 2 is going to be going down to the key, and he's going to be protecting this whole half of the court we don't want any baseline drives or drives down the middle of the key he needs to cut those off quickly now let's say player four gets that ball we're going to have player four red go out and guard him player three is going to be guarding the passing lane player one is going to be guarding the high post again as i was saying this is an extremely great defense against the overload offense now, I did have a comment when I was showing the overload offense video, and he was saying that if they, if they just screen away, that's going to allow the player who they're screening for to get wide open. Well, player one is still guarding that area, so that's really not a consideration with this defense. That's why I personally like the 1-3-1. One, one. It's very similar to my, my unbeatable basketball defense book, the 1-4, because in that book, I have pretty much everything from the free throw line extended and down getting a double team. Meanwhile, the posts in this defense will get double teams. There's no double teams out in the wings. So that's where my defense kind of has the advantage against this. If you want to go check out that book, there's probably going to be an advertisement at the end of this video anyways. But the link is in the description below. But anyways, that is the 1-3-1 zone defense. That is how I run the 1-3-1. And that is why I personally like it, how I explain in this video. It shuts down many zone offenses. Because it's able to cover the high post at the same time as covering the low post. There's no high-low passes. There's also not much to be said in the low post. It's guarding the low post and the high post extremely well, and it will leave a few open three-point shots, but I would much rather have an open three-point shot than an open layup. Three-point shots are just a little bit harder to make versus a layup. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day, so I'll see you guys again next time for another basketball video. Basically, through Skype, I can train with you one-on-one -on -one or one-on-a-group, one or the other. So if you are interested in that, click the link in the description. It's called Online Basketball Training. Basically, we'll be using Skype to be able to train with you. All you need to do is have a set of wireless headphones, a cell phone, tablet, or laptop with a webcam, and we are able to train one-on-one. -on -one. All you need to do is take it to your local gym, as long as they have Wi-Fi, or to the park, or you can do it in your backyard, and we can I can help you become a better basketball player. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on, I don't know yet. 
Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.